welcome to Clash with Cuddy. Okay, so this is a Town Hall 8 tutorial on hogs. I'm going to explain how to do the CC, but I'm going to show two attacks on two bases that Case just did. So first I want to just go through the thought process of why, what he was thinking. So basically, there was another attack on this base, um, but even if there wasn't, I, I would still make the same assessment. Uh, you're going to have double bombs in here, you're going to have a bomb here, and a potential bomb in here. After the first attack, there was a Tesla in there, so therefore, I would be absolutely shocked if he put the double bombs in there. But even if it was a fresh attack, I definitely wouldn't think that he would put the, 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 a bomb in there because it's on the outside and that's just not too bright. So you're thinking uh, that definitely that there are bombs in those two areas in blue. So you're going to need heals here and here, especially with this tower in here as well. So that's like another bomb. So you always want to plan out at least two of your heals. The other thing I noticed about this base is that when people have stuff like this, these stupid little arches, there's always a spring trap in there. So if you're going to drop hogs, you're going to do three at a time here, here, and here. Therefore, the hogs will not traverse this little ravine here. Or if you're coming from this side, you're going to go here, here, and here. You have to do it at the same time. So you're going to have to do like a two finger drop, at least, and do it quick. You definitely have to do here and here, or here and here at the exact same time. You can get this one later, right afterwards. Now, pulling the CC, um, this guy leaves nice little anchors for you, so you can go anywhere that you want with the CC. I decided to come in this way with case and the reason why I did that was I wanted to get the main force of the hogs coming through here because I know I'm gonna need a heal so they should all meet up in there I, I brought some to come up here but uh, I wasn't planning on healing up up top and uh, I was gonna let them die if need be just I just wanted to I wanted to force my hogs to come in through here and then I'm gonna have my other hogs coming in from here these two spots now or excuse me from down here at this uh, at this arrow, arrow at the bottom so here's the thing with the hog attack the big the biggest thing that I've seen is is the CC. people are having trouble with CC people are using dragons and CC in their CC to kill the other CC in my opinion this is a huge mistake you are so much better off taking five max level seven hogs because they will just tear up a town hall eight. So dealing with the CC is the number one thing to get started. So first I'm pull, uh, pulling the, the CC. Now, with this type of CC and the army comp I have, you gotta use your king. Um, because, and you'll see the way I do it uh, in the other attack with the dragon. Uh, you can do it without using your king, but in my opinion, you're going to want to use your king in this attack to tank. Now, I'm going to use the poison on the balloon to kill the balloon as it's coming forward. You have to use a level 4 or 5 to do that with a max balloon. Um, so, again, we're pulling in these guys over here. Now, I messed up on this attack because I, I didn't hit my King's Rage. But I was going to try it with a bunch of um, Barbarians, but I decided not to. I didn't, want, I didn't want my Wizards to die. So, my Wizards killed the King. Or, excuse me, my Wizards killed the Baby Dragons. I missed my King Rage. If I would have done my King Rage, I would have been fine. I wanted the King to tank for the top. Now... Here's the biggest thing, another big thing I see. I pulled my C, the CC up here so I can start my attack here. 
I wanted to rage my king and have him tank this archer tower so my hogs can get in freely, but I didn't. But I still had to do the hogs here because I don't want all my wizards to die. And this one archer tower would have killed all my wizards. So I need to I needed to go right away. So look what I'm doing here. I'm doing three at a time. One, two, three, one, two, three. On each of those outside things. And I'm bringing them from the side. Now I'm going to heal right in there. Bringing more from the side there. And then I'm bringing my CC hogs over there because I'm thinking the other bombs are over there. They're going to meet up. And I was able to heal them all in one heal. I mean, I could have done this with two heals, this entire base, I'm thinking. But why do that? Why take a chance? So I dropped the other heal. And then now I'm dropping my, the rest of my wizards and stuff to clean up on the outside. Done. When you have a compact base like that, it goes down fairly quick, and you see there's tons of hogs left. Okay, now this base here is actually a little more difficult to hog, because he's got a nice little setup. But if you plan, you can get it. So, here's my thoughts when I'm looking at this base. First off, he's got probably bombs either in here, or in here, or in here. Now, I believe this was this, yeah, he, I believe he, I knew that he had a Tesla here, and I think there was a Tesla either here or here. So I'm thinking still there's bombs probably in all three of those spots or in at least two of the three spots so pulling the CC um, you, when you look at this here you have to commit you have to commit at least three hogs to killing something so here's what I thought I'm gonna come in and put three in here and I'm gonna do three in here at the same time the reason why I did that is, is that I wanted to try to avoid having my hogs go across here, having them go across here, and having them go across here. So in order to do that, I needed to break it apart. So when I go with this guy here, breaking this off, breaking this off, now when I bring in my hogs through here, they're not going to come over here. They're going to come this way. So they come in through here, and I should be able to heal them. And I also came in with my hogs here and here. And the reason why I did that was if I'm coming in here, the hogs will... Again, this defense is gone. This defense is gone. So this defense isn't shooting at him. So really, is, I mean, he's only this archer tower. So they're going to come in and take all this out. The hogs that come in here, I was hoping they would come in and get this bottom plank. So... So I'm taking out all this and all this with two groups of hogs, and I'm keeping them from going across here, or at least all at once at the same time. But I'm planting my heels in two different spots, here and here. And again, my third heel, you always want to at least plant two heels. Your third heel, you go with the float. So this is the common CC that you'll see with the dragon. So again, I'm doing three. Okay, now the dragon comes out. Now, I'm an idiot because I didn't even, I figured someone would give me a poison, but someone gave me a haste. So now I'm running without a level five poison, but it doesn't really even matter. One thing I would say is, if I had a level five poison, I would drop it. And to kill the loon, but I would save my level two poison for skeletons. So here's how this works. Once you get the uh, 
once this guy kills him, you have to wait till he kills the archer. What you're going to do is you have to do this quick. So you drop a barbarian, and you drop like a line of wizards, two or three wizards. Then he will chase the barbarian. Uh, the dragon will chase him. He'll turn. He'll literally turn around. As soon as he burns him, you drop another one. Then, he, then he'll chase him. Then you drop another one. Then he'll chase him. This takes practice. You have to do FCs and just practice it. Friendly challenges. Watch. Got a line behind him. I just now I'm just watching. He nukes him. Drop another one. He nukes him. Drop another one. Now I didn't want. Um, I just dropped my king there to tank for my wizards, and they'll kill the loon. Now my now he's tanking. Again, the other thing that's important is you pull the CC to the side that you that you want to start your hogs from. If I if I wanted to start my hogs from over here, I would have pulled them over here. But I wanted to start on this side. So I'm doing three on each defense. I'm coming in from each of the sides. Now I'm coming in from the bottom. Okay. I got a heal there. The hogs do split, but there's no bombs there. I dropped my haste for pretty much no reason. There's my double bombs. But when they met them, the, the hogs were coming in from all different sides, which is what I was trying to do, and not all at once over that little spot. And that's it. So getting the CC is what you have to definitely practice. Then you just try to come up with a plan to try to navigate around the bombs and, that's, and, and plan two heals. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.